So he called me up and he was like, you, you know the you know the dog you got. If you don't go fast, I'll fucking kill it. <laughs> and then, and then the next the next session, I went out. I went out. I went two seconds faster, and I and I put it on pole, won the race and the championship. <laughs> and you get to keep your dog. Yeah. yeah. What was your dog called? Tio. Or Tio. Yeah. Like, Potato. 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 <laughs> Do I look clammy? I've just moisturised. <laughs> so I thought I was going to start, but it sounds like that is the perfect intro. Oh, have we started? Are we live? Oh, sorry. We're back! <laughs> <laughs> that was even worse than I imagined. Yeah, that's horrendous. And also, I feel like your start was better. <laughs> Do I look clammy? <laughs> I've just moisturised. <laughs> I have. So, guys, in case you hadn't noticed, it's been a while, hasn't it, Pat? Weeks. We've been up to a fair bit as well. Loads. Best, <laughs> I can't take you seriously. Those fucking glasses on. <laughs> they're, they're kids' glasses as well. No, they? they're not. I got I got you these got the Moto GP. You've got a massive Which was tweet. last week, but not next week, but the week last week. <laughs> it was actually nine months ago. <laughs> <laughs> we have um, talking to the Moto GP just while we've got your attention because everybody seems to mug us off after about six minutes of the podcast on every Get episode. It Get it in there. We have got. Racing superstar Casey O'Gorman coming on. He is sat in front of us thinking, why the hell did I agree? What, is my, what is my dad signed me up for? <laughs> Fuck's sake, dad. His dad, yeah, but he did it with a knife to him. So he was like, that. you <laughs> don't have a choice. Got, got a history of that, haven't we? But um, we can cut it out. Don't worry, John. I've heard you're a bit of a psycho. So don't worry about it. Anyway, I'm going to take my shades off. Are you going to take my shades off? His dad's looking at me now going, fuck, I said we weren't going to talk about the days of shanking everyone. <laughs> <laughs> but we can cut it out. It's fine. Don't worry about it. That was a joke. John doesn't stab people for a living. Uh, and we're um, a former brand anyway. ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got former brand ambassador Casey. I, I think you made it nine seconds. Come on, look at that. That jacket's done you no favour. <laughs> Mate, you're going to have to excuse me. I'm going to have to take his jacket Carl's off. On a big I'm sweating he's like on a Michael fat, Jackson on a school bus. Hang he's on. on a fat cut here. He's got to make weight. <laughs> he's got his sweatsuit on. I did one, one, one. Boxing session this morning. I think. You might want to use might want to use your mic, buddy. Uh, right, Jack. Look at the state of this. Oh, oh, you oh, oh, Jack, you can have that one for your personal use, mate. I wouldn't wash it if I did. Are they worth a million pounds one day? Oh. Right, welcome back, Pat. How have you been, mate? Really good. <laughs> they slipped on nicely, didn't they? Moist, aren't they? Yeah, you nicely. Moist. You'd spread them nicely. <laughs> Not so, for the first time. <laughs> how have you been, mate? Yeah. Good. All good. Um, Give them over there. I can't remember the last time we were sat on this sofa. It's been a while, wasn't it? And what we discussed. Well, what did we discuss last time? Ninjas, maybe? <laughs> Transgender ninjas. It's not good. And being again. queer and drinking a lot of beer by the sounds of things. It's not the same episode. Yeah. God, I was on heat. Because, yeah, you were, mate. You were I trying to like bring heat to the podcast. Like a dog on heat. Not dog on heat. Not like cool kids say on a heater. Talking of heat, it's been a hot day. <laughs> I can tell you all for it. <laughs> Pete, that's because I've had a jacket on trying to get a sweat on the go. It was what hot, are you it trying was hot. to sweat? <laughs> no, I didn't mean to. Hot for the media team as well, who've just come back from Mexico. Mexico. With all the chickateaters. Not that they're interested in any of that, because, uh, you know, five bean burrito, if you know what I mean. <laughs> that was just I, I'm, I'm pretty sure Jack nearly got arrested for skinny dipping after hours. Don't or was it after midnight or something? Yeah, did you pack her out? But I've heard this, it's, if like, it's too small, they'd send you down, do they? Send you to prison. They're like, oh, lady, okay. <laughs> they went, She's safe. They went skinny dipping in Taiwan. It would, it would appear. <laughs> so, yeah, so I can't remember what you spoke about last time, but um, we're, we're in a all, new... All I remember, we were next door. We were, we are in a new setting today. Where the magic happens. So, so another you, one. Three episodes. Four. Five, this is episode five. Yeah, I said that. With four, four settings now, I four believe. Sets. About four sets. So, four, four sets. Four steps. Better four skins. Anyway, we've got five skins in the for yours. <laughs> yeah, I fill it all. How many five peas? <laughs> Not five peas, jelly beans. How many? I think it was a lot. It was like a whole pack. Talking about Because I used to work with a client, right? So I'll tell you a funny story about that. I told, well, one of the drivers with an old client I used to work with, Richie, you know, I'm talking about you. Um, he decided to tell the client how many jelly beans I could fit in my foreskin. And... In the end, I had the client leaving packs of jelly beans. He even had the kids calling me jelly bean. They just didn't realise why they were calling me that. Um, yeah, it was a fair few. And uh, professional as ever. Always professional, you know, sometimes. As you can see. Professional yeah. as fair. <laughs> but yeah, we're in the other side today. So we're in the showroom side. Um, 
I Which, actually did all this, so all credit to me. That's um, why he's sweating. Lifted a finger for once. Get your fucking head down, that was, I've been on the road this week. Oh, one day and his oh, back's gone. Oh, the boss, he's got to lead the way. I fucking showed him. I what turned I up done. this morning and they were like, oh, you couldn't make it. I was like, oh, I need the boss, man. Don't worry. Yeah, when they rang me, I said, I the, 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 the client meeting. called me. The client called me on a new contract. Ah, Mr. Little, nice to hear from you. It was like I'd never been there. I felt like I probably mugged off. Well, you, you only were there one day. Get your head down. Been there all week. No, I did Wh four days. Four days. Thank God. Four days I did that. So anyway, so we're in the showroom side today. Um, we are going to have an absolute moto Red Bull rookie. We, we personally believe a future Moto GP rider. That is what we think is going to be happening here. Casey O'Gorman is going to be on today. No pressure. Loads of pressure, right? But we know you can handle it, all right? Because you've been caught short a few times by people trying to do interviews um, and catch you out. And uh, yeah, mate, we've seen how you respond to them, and you're very professional. So we are. When do you this. said it's been caught short a couple of times, <laughs> I thought you were say smashing into the pit lane. <laughs> no, he likes to high side, don't you, Casey? He doesn't want to answer. <laughs> he wanted to say something. He's, what is like, a high side? he's not said anything all day, and what I can see his eyes. He was like that. What's a high Fuck side, off, Carl? <laughs> Um, high side is when you flip off the bike, like on the other oh, side. Oh, crash. Not, yeah. Oh, good shit. at that. He's been good at that recently. But we won't talk about that too much with KC. <laughs> this got it. I'm, I'm giving you shit. You're a phenomenal lad. And we can't wait to get you on in a sec. Right. But we'll call you on yeah. at the most unsuspecting time to make you feel as awkward and uncomfortable as possible, all right? And like, then give you as much grief as like possible. Like poor Corey who made his debut. Corey? Last Corey did well. And my mum got so excited because... She was like, oh, he's got a CRV. I've got one of those. I'll have to get it down to the garage. You'll know what he's doing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, so we picked up um, we picked up a new delivery contract, didn't we? We did. Hence, if anybody's wondering, that's what these badgers are all about. <laughs> really, watch this. My d Walt crest. Put that on the floor, mate, really. Why? Great shot. Ah, yeah. So safety shoes. Safety shoes are a as number Pete, one for a delivery driver. As Peter K once said. Yeah. Safety first, safety second. You've quit that funny already, actually. So. Oh, not on the pod. Not on the pod. That was when you were angle grinding. I'm not happy with this. Is this all right? It's level. Oh, I mean, good. ruin my crep check. But you, your creps are sick. To so, be fair, my, old, my ones I normally wear are much better, so... For the fashionistas among us. <laughs> At least the knees are out. Jack's mum's going to be absolutely loving life. And at the Shiva. talk of P-Town, have we had any more beef from them, lads? You have would, they called you us would, grubby anymore times? You would know, because obviously we listen to every episode. I've listened to every episode. And as an avid supporter, I can confirm. I was just testing Pat there. Testing but me. I can confirm. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Never <laughs> get the wrong guy. Because this is so, a so look, what guy. So, Coffee Co. <laughs> so, um, Sponsored. Bro. Anyway, so this week. This week. What, out, have you, what have you been up to? Been smashing it and I out on, out on the tarmac. As every good manager should be. You've been on the road leading the way, haven't you? Set the yeah. examples. How have the drivers found it with you? Fantastic. Big shout out to our team, actually. Um, SRLT. So uh, for those of you who don't know, busting up is where we are now. This is our business, but we also do logistics as well on the on the, on the site. Well, actually, it's going to be our main source of income soon. Breadwinner. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. It's what I go to school for. <laughs> they were playing last week when they busted. Is that at the pavilions? Well, that was McFly. You were there, front row. I would have been if I could have got tickets. The wife yeah. tried to get me down there, but we've got kids. That ruins everything. Don't, Casey, don't take that personally. Obviously, you being a kid and that. But um, Well, technically, we're all kids. Casey's we? 16 anyway, so. We're all kids. We're all being bare. Orchids. Orchids. Just oh. need the right amount of water. Yeah. Um, so I next saw, door. I saw somebody the other day had an orchid grow for nine years. <laughs> nine years an orchid. That's, that's longer, decent, mate. That's longer. That's two. Bloody, what's them horrible? Oh, the fuck that up. <laughs> <laughs> what's, them, what's them horrible dogs called that dribble everywhere? St. Bernard's. That's two St. Bernard's. That is an orchid. You could have. You could have. <laughs> How did you come up with this? Three generations of Saint Bernard with oh. one orchid. So if anybody is one. interested in getting their car work done, then <laughs> busting up is done. where to come. And if you're lucky, you'll see a orchid. Orchid. <laughs> Nine years old. <laughs> Fucking twat. <laughs> Seven more years, you can shag it. <laughs> Not that, you, 
So anyway, moving on. So we're trying to keep it relevant. I think I've really, I've really derailed this. He's taking this in such a bad direction. So look, I'm, I'm running on very little sleep. Okay. So we, to be fair, the hours have been pretty long. So anyway, long John. Back, back, back to the course, right? So let's let's go back to what we're talking. Get about. yourself booked in for some mechanics. Get your but get your, right. Get, get your, your cars done. Get your bikes done. Let's start reining it in to where we're aiming today. Let's talk bikes this week because this week, I, well, to be honest. I love motorbikes, but I am sh- when it comes to knowing what bikes do and what they're about, I'm the worst salesman ever. We've got loads of bikes for sale here. If anyone was to ask me about them, I wouldn't have a clue what to say other than this one's pretty sweet. Word Hero would do the job for you, mate. No Word Hero. AI gives you all the description. So we're talking about bikes. At the moment, we've got plenty for sale, actually, at the moment. And I'm trying to sell a... I've got a CBR 600 Splash Edition, which is pretty good if anybody wants it. And we've got a ZX99 Ninja for sale because uh, I'm trying to fund a track bike and it's been inspired by our guest today, Casey and the MotoGP because I want to whip Casey on a track day. While he's not here to defend himself, I definitely could. If he had a 125 and you had a 650, he might... might I might just about get a similar lap time. He'd probably still beat you. He, he weighs a lot less. What, you, you reckon i beat you? Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> here he is. So, so basically, yeah. So we're talking about um, Motor biking, Viking. MotoGP, and we're talking about Casey today. So I think in a minute, I reckon we get Casey on because yeah. you and I are shite. I could tell you all of the times I've ridden a bike and it would take less time than it takes you to have a You drove, what, what did you ride? Drove? What did you ride? You rode that little 125. One of you were going to ride it into the wall. Yeah, because why? Have you seen, if anyone's seen the in-betweeners, when Jay <laughs> yeah. is like, yeah, I know how to ride a bike. Straight through the shop. That, that's, that was Pat. Yeah, fucking all. He went off going. No, I didn't get out of first gear. And then I stood. <laughs> <laughs> my, all my biking experience previous to that has, has been on uh, mobed. To be fair, yeah, I haven't got a much much of a better history to be honest. I wrote my first bike off, came off it high-sided through lack of experience, as I said in the first pod, and nearly wrapped myself around the wrong side. But talking of high-sided. <laughs> and on that note... <laughs> I think we talk. Look at getting Casey, lads. What do you reckon? Do Where are we at? What time are we on? Right. So Before. first of all, oh, oh no! It's time for an ad break. Sorry. Okay. Welcome to the ad break on Buster Nut Channel six hundred and seventy-two. Oh, look at that! This look. is the hashtag Ban Life hoodie. As you can see, these will be for sale on our online store. $39.99. They're pretty sweet. If you want to join the hashtag Ban Life Road Crew, you can buy one of these hoodies and it doesn't count as being part of it because you've got to get a different hoodie to be part of that as well. However, this one is also cool and it comes with a hood. <laughs> and two, hang on, hang on, hang on. Two armholes. And this convenient little Ban Life slogan in the corner. So anyone looking for a top quality, 100% cotton, fantastic twill effect on the inside hoodie, please go to our store when it's up and running and I'll give you a heads up on that. And buy this. Thank you. Please come again. And now, introducing the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, the almost man in two years, Casey <laughs> O'Gorman. Woo! Come on, Casey. Plonk your butt down here. Look at that t shirt. Oh, Gaffaroni. Right. They, available on the online store. <laughs> so, guys, this, for anyone who doesn't know, if you don't know, they get to know. Fucking right. This is Casey O'Gorman, 67, Cog Racing. Follow, subscribe to anything he's doing. Motorbike, superbike, extraordinaire. 16, is it? Just turned? Yeah, just turned 16. You've got to put that. You've got to, yeah. yeah, I just turned 16. Not, not that close. <laughs> oh, no, I'm joking, Casey. He's a sti- <laughs> <laughs> So, Casey, it's an absolute pleasure. Thank to you. have you, our brand ambassador, on the podcast. Thanks for having me. No problem, mate. This is and like, do you know what? This is like proper sports journalism. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Have you seen the question of sport? This is it. Um, was it Phil Titmarsh? So Phil Tufnell. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, to be so, fair, he is in his mid-60s, so. <laughs> no, Casey. No, so, Phil Tufnell's in his 60s like you, so. Get your head down. I only look like I'm 60 next to Casey. So, yeah. Casey, how are you? What's your name? Where'd you come from? What'd you do? <laughs> you've, just, you've just reeled all that off for him. No, go on. I'll let you introduce yourself and say hello. As Carl's already said, my name's Keisha Gorman. I'm 16 years old and I live in London, born born in Ireland. Which part? 
fuck's sake. I had to do it. I'm sorry. Dad said like that. He's like, wait till we finish this. Um, you're, you're fucking, Casey, are you fucking genius? <laughs> are you, are you taking it off? <laughs> I've got hey, an, I've dad's got... over there at the end of a rainbow getting absolutely threaded. So got, Casey, more importantly... I've got Irish ancestry too, so we're basically bros. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you do, Casey? I ride motorbikes. Oh! Absolute legend. That's what we like to hear. He and just Casey, ride them. where do you ride your motorbikes? Well, uh, I ride motorbikes in Europe mostly, and I've started doing some in this country as well. Wicked. So you ride with the Red Bull Rookies, don't you, at the moment? You're coming to the end of the season, is that right? Yeah, just coming to the end of the season. And how have you been enjoying that? You've been having a good time? Well, it's been all right. Uh, the racing's fun. Uh, yeah, but... Uh, That's all right, mate. Look, it's, it's chill, right? So this is Casey's first time on a podcast... And we've really put him on the spot. So I gave him a bit of a shout last minute. He's already doing better than we did. And all, yeah, he's like much more professional. Better. So don't stress me. You're he's better had, than us. He's had the media PR training that we I know. could have done with. How did everything <laughs> go? If I say nothing, I can't get in trouble. <laughs> no, to be fair, let's have a talk about it, right? So from my point of view, I think you've done phenomenally well. Um, to, to, to think about how many races that there... Because there's been a few issues, haven't there, this season, where you've missed a few races, is that right? Through... Either injury or well, not not yet, but uh, I'm meant to be racing this weekend, but I fractured my pelvis, so I can't. Did, so there was a, wasn't there a couple where there was a couple of races where you had a fall in the actual race or something that didn't get you where you wanted to be in the actual. Yeah, yeah that's when I uh, just ran out of talent, fall off. You ran out of what? Talent. Talent. What does that mean? Yeah. Ran out it means of I talent. fell off like a ship bloke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so, Possibly, but, to, yeah. but to be honest, right, the reason I bring it up is. There's some races we'd probably look at and you'd say, oh, I wish I'd done a little bit better there. Yet, towards the end of the season, last when we watched you last week or the week before, there was technically still a chance you could have ended up on a podium if you'd have got the, the right finishes, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah. The racing's so close. Uh, like It's like the top 10 are all in one pack. So basically, it's just about uh, how you play the race. And sometimes you can win someone and sometimes you can be like pushed back, beaten up in the pack. That's true, but so what I'll say is, take take my hat off to you, mate. Right? Not wearing you, a hat. <laughs> shit. Um, someone give me a hat so I can take it off. <laughs> um, when I watched you last week, so basically what we do is we've got a load of lads. They love you, right? There's a lad now who's literally he's in London crying himself to sleep. Kurt, you know I'm talking about you, you mincer. Um, What's he doing in London? Working for once. So um, they don't have plasterers up there. <laughs> so um, he's so he's great and he can't be it, right? But we watched you on the big screen. We had a few beers. Um, and mate, I was gutted because you, what are you, 19th to 6th? Yeah, yeah, I had a really bad qualifying, so I was stuck in uh, the back and I had to fight my way through to the front, and then uh, I had a little fall off. Yeah, but these, mate, look, let's forget about the fall to go from 19th to 6th at that level of racing. I think, from my, my personal point of view here, and I think everyone else who's like sat here on the team, that's phenomenal, mate. So I think you can't, there's no beating yourself up at 16 years old to have that level of quality against people that are doing this day in, day out. And a lot of them as well. You're catching up with lads that live in hot countries that are racing all the time. The weather's good. And Well, yeah. The 19th to, to 5th was all right. But yeah, 5th. I, I, it's not yeah. <laughs> Dickhead. It was all right. Fifth. It was all right, but I have gone this year from 30th, which was the back of the grid to 2nd. Mate, I know, right? Hang on, didn't you do another race where you actually came? Even, didn't you win one? Uh, or oh, I got that wrong? There was a short Brands Hatch. Oh yeah, Brands Hatch. I came from last on the grid because I crashed in the how, first. How is he like that? <laughs> oh, oh uh, I forgot about, I forgot that. about yeah. that one. This yeah, is humility yeah. is finest right here, guys. Yeah. I, I come from the back of the grid, uh, first time on a uh, 765 Triumph, and I come from the back Mate, and won it. That is <laughs> phenomenal. Does that mean? It's not that. So I'm pretty sure you did well. Uh, well, mm, well no, there was really. this one. Oh yeah. yeah, there was this one time where I was at the back and I won the race. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I forget all my best, best achievements as well. So how do you feel about the fact though, like regardless of how the season's gone, how cool is it that you've raced under the Red Bull banner? That's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice to have that back in. Uh, gives me a bit of confidence for like the future and where I can go in the future. 100%, mate. What's the dream? What's the dream? Mer GP. Yes, Mer mate. With busting up. All right. Busting up racing that? in Mer GP. Yeah, bad life racing, <laughs> Mer GP. <laughs> what we, what bikes any... are we racing? 
Uh, MotoGP bikes. Yeah, uh, but what do you? <laughs> well, well. <laughs> Motorbikes. Uh, one Brick. of those ones in the MotoGP, I guess. Yeah. What bike? What would yeah, you be well, on? What do they my, ride? My personal favourite at the moment is Yamaha, but they're struggling a bit. So right, right now. So if you want to yeah. compare a bike, you'd go with Ducati. Mate, Ducati. At least you got everyone on the straight. Carl yeah. always yeah. says in the show. You always say no, it's because they're too bike. expensive. Um, the only reason we don't sell Ducatis, I can't afford to buy them in the first place. <laughs> so you would want to be on a Ducati, so ban life Ducati team, right? Yeah. And then what we'll do is eventually we'll ban life factory. You've Ducati. got a bit of Italian, haven't you? Somewhere? Me? Yeah, with that olive skin tone. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> he's, he's like ha a bit of Italian because his flag's half, so, like looks a little bit like he said earlier. <laughs> Just the wrong way around. So, um, isn't the Italian flag backwards? Isn't that like Lithuania or something? I'm a bit mate, of a flag. I don't know. The red, the I'm red a flag, and the Italian I'm a flag flags. Pev. Gold and the Irish flag. Right, so it's similar. It's oh. the same. Just so the basically, you're Italian, just a different, bit of a different colour. <laughs> just an orange. <laughs> it's orange. Yeah. Well, I suppose <laughs> you're like ginger, Ita ginger Italian. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> so, potato. Um, <laughs> <laughs> potato on a pizza. Um, so Casey, mate. So Man, that's fantastic work, right? So Red Bull. Um, and we're not sure at the moment, like we, we've got to wait until the end of the season before you have discussions about what happens next year, right? So we're just waiting on that. And then I, th I guess you and your dad, who's here, your dad supports you, you know, massively. You guys will all have conversations with Red Bull and back next year, I suppose, won't you? So at the moment, though, let's talk about what you've been doing in the UK as well, which is sick. Or well, flying through the air. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Since racing with Red Bull, Casey can now fly. <laughs> um, you high sided, yeah, and unfortunately the wings didn't deploy, did they? No, no, no. You don't have so, one that morning. <laughs> so now no you're um, in Coco recovery. Pops. Is that right? Yeah, recovery mode. Now. Been hobbling around Plymouth all day. Yeah, I can't believe so, you made him walk onto screen with a fractured pelvis. Carl said earlier, <laughs> "Oh, he's got a bit of a bad leg. He's got a fucking fractured pelvis." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we're trying to toughen him up, aren't we? It's a tricky game out there. It's tough. If Carl had that, he's walking like he shit himself because he had to lift three totes of bloody <laughs> pharmaceuticals three last week. Boxes of drugs. <laughs> so, yeah, One. so you've been racing. You, you got picked up and you've been racing with OMG, haven't you, recently? Well, yeah. If I, I get it wrong, mate, correct me because I don't want you to get in trouble for false information. No, no, I have been. Um, it's first started at Thruxton where, like, the Thursday before, we weren't doing anything and then we just got called up to go ride there. Never ridden a Yamaha before, never ridden Thruxton, never ridden on Pirelli tyres. Amazing. And then we just went there because we accepted, because we knew it was a good team. And we was like, yeah, we'll go there, see how competitive I was. And then like in the first session, I'd never been Thruxton all that bike and I was like third. And then I went to uh, second in practice two and then I qualified second. But then, unfortunately, I got taken out on the warm-up lap on the race. Oh, it's, I reckon they do it on purpose. See these what, young lads. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I reckon they're like that. This sixteen-year-old's making us look shite. We need to take him out. Same, it was the same weekend as my birthday as well. <laughs> really? So I literally turned. I turned sixteen. <laughs> I turned sixteen Monday, which was the age limit. Then Friday, I was riding. <laughs> <laughs> Legend. That was like me, but with lottery tickets. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so you mate, and, and how amazing! How did you feel then when you got asked to do that? I bet you were buzzing, weren't what you? What bike? What bikes is that? What six hundreds? <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. Casey, right, he's a bit special. <laughs> what what bike? <laughs> Sorry, so Yamaha, no. Yamaha, Yamaha six. How did you feel when you got the call though? Sixteen years old. Think about it this way, right? Literally, the day you were allowed to do it, a top quality BSB team called you. They called my dad. <laughs> Bye, mate. <laughs> Bye, dad. How did you feel? No. How, so when, 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 when OMG... Up, squeeze up, dad's coming in. Yeah, when, <laughs> so when OMG Pete called PR, who then called your dad, who then yeah. told your mum, who told your brother and came to you and said, do you want to race at a BSB? Your dad had already said yes for you, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> get, in the, get in the car. <laughs> How did you feel? No, no, I wasn't even at home. My dad just called me saying saying the OMG team offering and if I wanted to do it, I was like, well, I hadn't raced in a few weeks and, and uh, still a few more weeks until the next race. So I was just like, yeah. All over it. Like a cool. Rush. So as you can see, he was absolutely <laughs> thrilled. <laughs> that's, how, um, that's how young people play cool. Carl. Yeah, it is. Sorry. Yeah. It's, you, it's just you in case there's any like, any cool people watching. You would know if you were born before 1973. <laughs> get your fucking head down. Yeah, sorry, Casey. Let me, hang on, wait. Let me just get into character. Yeah, so mate, so um, so yeah, so OMG. Do you want to know something cool? It's actually a gay bar in Plymouth called OMG. So 
you're racing for a gay bar. <laughs> no comment. Tumble, tumble, tumble with you there. Fucking, I thought we so were keeping it. So how feel uncomfortable? I thought we were keeping it professional and oh, yeah, real sports shit. journalism. No, we are. We're, I'm Phil Tufnell. Um, so Casey, so now what, what's your next move then? So at the moment you're recovering, where are you recovering? Because I think there's a guy, it'd be nice to mention the people that are helping your recovery at the moment because they're doing it as, as like, a, aren't they helping you out quite a lot at the moment? Yeah, yeah. Um, the Origin Oxygen Health Chamber in uh, uh, Somerset, they've been giving me uh, a lot of treatment, keeping me overnight in their apartment and like I've been <laughs> under a lot of treatment and it's, 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 it's it? helping me, it's <laughs> helping me get better because a week ago, I couldn't even get out of bed and now I can walk. So that's awesome. Back. And I'm expecting to be riding next weekend. Mate, that's amazing. That is awesome. Well, I did actually, I, love, oh, I, I rode five hours after I, uh, after I fractured it. <laughs> yeah. And then I woke up the next morning and I was like, oh, it's a bit painful now. <laughs> that's just a quick one. I think I might have broken oh, one think, of the biggest think, bones in my body. I think I might be dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love the concern on Pat's face when he said, they're keeping me in their apartment. <laughs> No, is that, always, uh, uh, no, they, no, no, no. You're happy with that? Yeah, it's just I'm like, good. Okay. It's, we're trying to give them a shout out. Yeah, it's hot, <laughs> it's, a, it's an apartment above their clinic where, where I can have laser treatment and uh, the oxygen treatments downstairs. So I don't really have to go out anywhere and I can just chill there during the day and then have nice. like treatment two times a day. That oxygen treatment's pretty sick, isn't it? Yeah. They give you like <laughs> pure oxygen, don't they? Is it good? Yes. Yeah, well, it's. You just you sit in a chamber that goes like like four four meters deep or something and oh really and it gives you like pure oxygen and they leave you in there for like an hour an hour and a half and what well, you're fully in it I'm in it but they set the pressure to like four meters below not actually four I meters. see okay I mean, well so what does that do it compresses the muscle and helps it to yeah. recover a bit quicker and, and it gives you oxygen like pure oxygen which helps the muscle oh, recover fantastic. or the bone yeah. to Heal quicker. So what's what's the, the practice called again so everyone can hear who's helping you out? The Origin Oxygen <clears throat> Health Centre. Origin Oxygen Health Centre. Sick. Rolls off a tongue. Get in touch, lads. Obviously, big podcast here. So if you want a free t-shirt with someone your way, all right? <laughs> it's Good. in Somerset. Yeah, it's, and it's just up the road from us. Yeah, go on, bar, on town. If you want some decent old tool. I oh, know. So Casey, tool. how did you get in? Your, your dad was sending me some, showing me some photos earlier. Um, and then... Oh, I didn't really like him, so I asked him to actually show me some of you. Yeah. And then um, <laughs> he was showing me... <laughs> no, so he was showing me some photos. You were on some sort of electric bike before you could walk, weren't you? Yeah, um, I think... I can't actually remember where. Apparently I was, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I go think back like, to when you were, like, two. not even one. Yeah. <laughs> apparently I uh, had a little battery bike that had a little pedal down here, and apparently I had to, like, lean off to press the throttle, and I go, Brilliant. go around the house... And then you moved on to a balance bike. Oh yeah, that that got a lot of you use. Ragged it in you for like four wheel bearings in a week. Knee down, knee down, wouldn't he? Not quite. Knee down just, in the kitchen. Our house, our house is a circle, so we can. I could just go around around. Do you live in a around, lighthouse? Like, <laughs> Do you live in a lighthouse? No, <laughs> it's just like <laughs> a turret, <laughs> a castle, a glue, a castle. A castle in the full of the square. square. <laughs> the tear drawn square. The tear drawn castle. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real place in Ireland, Tato Castle. Is it? It's where they make Tato oh, crisps. Okay. Is it? Do you know that? It's Tato Park. Is it? What, yeah. Potato Park? No, it's just like... Tato, where they make the crisps, don't they? Yeah. Did they make the crisps? Yeah. <laughs> Dad's pissing himself <laughs> over here. Yeah, but bikes. Where, have cool. you been to Tato? Have you been to Tato? Tato? I actually haven't, no. My brothers have. Oh, it's like that, oh, is, it, is it? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Favouritism. Casey, if you want, to like, be fair, brand yeah. it's actually my auntie to take some, so she's being favourite. Oh, and he's not getting a shout out on the podcast. <laughs> no, we're joking, Auntie. Don't be like that. That's not a very nice way to talk about your family. So anyway, so you've not been to Tato. One of the one of the no. like, low points in your career is that you've not been to Tato yet. I reckon when you like, you could get like the keys to Tato when you're smashing it. Do you know what I think? Right, like, part of the band life racing team. Okay, when I can finally whip you up. Which is uh, I'll see you to Tao. On on a bike or <laughs> on the back. He oh, can jump yeah. it. Like, <laughs> like evil can evil. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll take I'll take you in the back and we'll take you, we'll just buy your dad's van. Hopefully that'll be on about a thousand, one thousand million thousand miles by the time we get to Tao. <laughs> How many is that done? Three hundred thousand or something? Three hundred and fifty thousand. Three hundred and fifty K. That's that's literally 
like driving to the moon and back. Is it? Is it? And how long does that take, Pat? <laughs> <laughs> Have you not seen it on Top Gear where maybe no. one of them gets the black taxi and it's got 400,000 miles and he types it in and it's like, that's to the moon and back twice. Really? Yeah. Blimey. Somebody Google how far away the moon is. Can Ruby? Stop? Ruby! How many miles is the moon away? Disclaimer, Ruby is our PA and she'll sometimes do technical duties in the background for us when we need them. I need an answer, please, Ruby. Ruby! If you so can... anyway, you've not been to Tato. Moving on. After the... So there you go. Watch to the moon and back. Kilometers, you've definitely smashed it. You've smashed then, is it, if it. Is it an Irish fan? Because that's probably in kilometers, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's in euros. The <laughs> 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 fucking... Makes in potatoes. <laughs> It's, it's done 350,000 tatoes. It's done 500,000 potatoes. <laughs> and 99,000 points of goodness. Casey, okay, so you can tell him to shut up if you want. So, um, go on. Go on, do it. Dare you, Casey. I'll leave. Next question. <laughs> it's so good Next at it. question. Casey, you are phenomenal. So, I've after the balance bike, oh, could, right. when was the first time you remember riding on a track on a motorbike? On a track or a car park? Car park, because no, that would be young. Well, Dad might get in trouble about the car park. So if we get yeah. a better track. <laughs> Private no, land. Okay, where's the first time you remember being on a motorbike? Um, probably running away from my dad in the car park <laughs> on the bike. <laughs> and it's, it's all on video. And then and then I crashed. And then I said like something like, I didn't pull the brakes easy enough. <laughs> did you do what I did and went for the old clutch pedal? I don't pedal? Know. Pedal? That thing. Either. Cheers, bud. <laughs> he is a pro, this kid. Yeah, he's all over it. He knows his clutch lever from his brake pedal. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened then? So you just absolutely, did you high side that? I just fell off the inside. Like five years old, high side on a mini motor. It was, it was Asda three. Car park. <laughs> Tato Asda. I was three, actually. Oh, big time. <laughs> three, what? Your dad's a legend. Hey, I love it. A... He's settling in now. He's giving it back. I like that. Three like that. years old on a motorbike. That's strong. Yeah. Yeah, mate, he wasn't even walking when he was on his first electric one. Unbelievable. Carl was breastfed till he was 12. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on. Oh, now he's... Yeah, oh, now nervous he's... now. So, so that nervous. happened. When do you remember? When was your first... So, so you went through that period, and I imagine you just got track days in or like getting to learn the bikes. How did it start? The racing side, how did that start for you? Uh, it was actually at that Amaring Oval Raceway. Um, it's like, it was like our local track and we, we, uh, used to always go there just for practicing when I was like four and I, and you had to be like five to race, but then the owner, like, uh, Jim saw how good I was and he said I could race at five, uh, four and it's meant to be five. So I got my first races down there and then, sorry, you're racing motorbikes <laughs> four years old. Yeah. <laughs> And then it's like, no, that's Mate. pretty posh people. We don't know you see that. And then that year. Uh, I went to Ireland for Christmas, I think it was, First time and uh, in Tipperary, and um, all my family was there, and I managed to pick up my first race win at four. Is that where you yeah. show me all the trophies in the pictures? Or was that, that was like his first GP. Might have to get dad in a minute to fill in some gaps. What, here. four? No, I ain't even going to ask that question. So, okay, good idea, Pat. You're not very good at asking. I was going to say. No, stop. The bikes must be obviously not, not proper bikes. Like, it's like that orange one, that old orange one out there. Like the a mini motor. Like a yeah. mini motor. Yeah. Not that KTM Duke. No, no. <laughs> Four years old. <laughs> you off that road. You get on the grog. Me down. <laughs> what size engine are they then when you're four? Fifth, 40cc. Nice. And that was your first race you remember amazing. being involved in that you smashed. Do you remember, yeah, I do you used remember to, like, riding when you were that young? Yeah, I used to like like whip loads of adults down at Amory. <laughs> <laughs> what, on a mini motor? Yeah. Well, those on mini motors as well. well. I'm not surprised. They're not supposed to be on mini motors. That's like three times your <laughs> weight. Like clown bikes. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's your new theme tune, right? It's part of the Bustin' That Brand and Bastard Scheme. Um, four, I, I genuinely... That's nuts, I can't it? get my head around that. Four years old. Oh, that's mad. That's a mad tinker. So how did we go from there to smashing, like whipping adults on moto, mini motos? That was before. That was like when I was four. Right. So how Four or we... five, I was like at Amaring, racing loads of adults in the championships down there, winning. Really? Yeah. What? I think most of my trophies at home are from Amaring. Fantastic. So how did we go from there? What, what was the process of going from there 
to being involved in the Red Bull rookies? Because let's be honest, right? That's a big step. That's a hell of a step, isn't it? <laughs> what happened? Well, I uh, started doing fab racing. Uh, twenty fab racing. That sounds so fun. Fab. Well, in twenty sixteen, I won the the champ. A championship. 2017, I won two championships. Amazing. What's and then 2018, I won three championships in Fab. That's epic. What That's, is? Can you just, what is Fab racing? So I've not seen that one before. It's like it's like mini bikes racing. They got they got like rookies on uh, restricted 40 cc mini motors, uh, and then they got unrestricted mini motors. Then they got elite mini motors that are like uh, tune and stuff. And then oh nice. Then they got metric kit 50s, metric kit 70s, and then pit bike 140s and extreme 200s. And you started sort of really, you know, so you're like, as you get older, you progress onto yeah. larger bicycles. That's yeah. awesome. So when did you, when did you step Terrible up? Bikes. So after your mini moto days where you would start like smashing the adults, when did you step up onto the next bike? How old were you? And what was the next thing you rode that was sort of the next step in the right direction? Well, I started fab when I was, uh, six. Irishman trying to count over there. Devil just six. <laughs> <laughs> and then Two, I was three. fine. <laughs> three and a half. We love you, John. I'm sorry. <laughs> three, three and a half. Was it was it Fab where you friends to kill my dog? <laughs> <laughs> so so we need to run. Podcast. We need to run. We need to say a disclaimer that Dad is extreme. I must say to John, and I think we get him on in a bit. When when you've gone into yours a bit more, Casey, John is probably one of those supportive parents I've ever met. And probably, probably to the point that Casey gets a bit pissed off, but it's only because he loves you. And, and, you know, your dad's doing a, a hell of a lot for you to get where you are. So all this shit that we're giving you, John, you can come in and give it back in a second, right? So we'll let you get in there. But, He's um, camera shy. Is he? Should we get him on in a second then? Should we make sure we get him on time? <laughs> yeah, we, we need to get him on. Look at him shitting himself. <laughs> Should we just tell the dog story? It's up to you, Casey. I mean... So, uh, so every, obviously... Every track I have like my personal best lap. And I was racing at Fab, uh, fighting for my first championship. And in the first qualifying session, <laughs> in the first qualifying session, I was like two seconds off my personal best. And I was like sick from the grid. So, so my, dad, my dad wasn't actually there. And he, he called me up saying, so I had a new dog that I'd won throughout the year because I've been, been performing so well and he promised me it. So was, he called me up and he was like, you, you know the you know the dog you got. If you don't go fast, I'll fucking kill it. <laughs> and then, and then the, the next the next session, I went out. I went out. I went two seconds faster, and I and I put it on pole, won the race and the championship. <laughs> and you get to keep your dog. Yeah. yeah. What was the dog called? Tito. Or Tito. Yeah. Like, Tito. 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 I love me dog. Tito. He's the best fucking dog in the world. <laughs> It's fucking brilliant. <laughs> so epic. So you still got your dog. Yeah. And then you going strong. Yeah, he's still alive, hopefully. Um, Dad's still got him at gunpoint every race. <laughs> so um, and then so I'm conscious of the fact that we're gonna run out these cameras die soon. So we need to get to Red Bull era pretty rapid, all right? So we need to know your next steps to Red Bull. Give us now a lowdown from there. So you're nearly having your dog written off by your old man. Right. So, to race so Red Bull. I went from my eight British championships to uh, Cuna de Campiones in Spain, where I did the Primo of four for a year. Got picked up a few wins, uh, two wins. Outstanding. Three wins, sorry. And then uh, the next year we was going to do ETC, but then COVID came. So we had to do British Talent Cup, where I came in as a rookie, won my first race. And then the second Amazing. Second race, I got knocked off. And then I was kind of like really inconsistent all year, either winning or crashing. So I couldn't really fight for the championship being so inconsistent. Then uh, 2021, I, I stayed in British Talent Cup for a second year. And I started the season with the double win. And then we went to the second round and uh, someone knocked me off. And then I broke my neck and I had to miss five races. <laughs> that escalated quickly. You broke it out. <laughs> Yeah, Jesus, but, when did you, what happened? When did you break that so weekend? Uh, 2021, and someone ran into the back of me, and I went like jumped off headfirst into a barrier, and then bloody hell! Oh yeah, and I broke my arm, my leg. Forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, well, they're kind of like minor injuries compared to a broken neck, <laughs> that aren't is they? Unbelievable. Yeah, <laughs> and then and then after that, 
I missed like five races. When I come back, I was 91 points behind the championship oh, leader. Oh, no. So then I just like went on a first, second uh, spree across the whole championship finish. Oh, really? Nearly every race in first or second, barring one where I got taken out again. And then and then by the end of the year, we came to the last round and I was six points away from the championship lead. And I Bloody cut, hell. And then I just won both races, one by 18 seconds and one by six seconds. And I took the championship. Bloody hell, mate. That's that unbelievable. is phenomenal. That is that is what I'd say got me my rookies cup. <laughs> I'm not bloody the surprised. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, but you are you are the the go on, what are you gonna say? I picked up eight wins that year, despite missing five races. He's a hero, isn't he? What a legend. That's, that's unbelievable. He wasn't saying only two races then. That's him telling us we've got two minutes left, all right? Ooh. So he, he was like that, two races. Shit bloke, that's what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> so you missed nearly like a quarter of the season and still won the whole thing. Yeah. Casey, mate, I think that is something that everyone that who's watching this will be absolutely amazed by, to be honest with you. I think we are, aren't we, Pat? Like, that's what a phenomenal effort. And I am absolutely not surprised that you're racing in the Red Bull rookies after a season like that. That's a phenomenal effort. And to be honest, we've seen that potential in you through some of the, you know, the, the dodgy starts you've had like, on the ninth pole, you know, position, no, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? 30, position 19, 30, going up to fifth position in in Red Bull rookies standards. Yeah, but I did it in ETC from 30th and finished second and it's kind of against the same riders. Really? So I'd class that one better because it's mostly the same 100%. riders. What, a lot of the same guys are in that one? Yeah. So they see oh, you right, coming okay. and they think, not this kid again. <laughs> That's what they knock ETC, you off. ETC, is that the European Talent Cup or something? That's only in... That's What's ETC? <laughs> Uh, European, European talent, talent cup, yeah. yeah. So, so, so similar riders, and you're absolutely tearing it up. So they're sitting yeah. Casey yeah. back here. So look, Casey, uh, we've got so into this, like getting to know you about your background. Okay, it's been an absolute pleasure to get to know you. Um, so at the moment, you're finishing off your Red Bull rookie season, and you're if you can race, is that right? Yeah. Depending on your leg, um, you've got the BSB OMG racing team, um, who you're racing with at the moment, but it's all dependent on your leg, right? Yeah, I should be all right for the last two rounds of BSB, hopefully. Okay. So, guys, <clears throat> are we all good? Well, no, are you walking? Sorry, Casey. Just give me a second here so I can give our team a bit of shit, right? <laughs> You're walking around acting like we're <laughs> You're pressing buttons and stuff. He's that going, two just... minutes, lads. Is it just that one that's off? <laughs> oh... Say again. Oh, really? Fucking hell. God, you can't have waffle, lad. Christ. <laughs> it, was you, it was you at the start. Get your head down. Fuck it. We can cut all us out. No. Get, well, well, look. When we just made go, just Wait. after we've made Casey like rush through the yeah, you can't pinnacle of his career. You can't go back now. It's like, oh, carry on, lads. Like, no worries. But no, I think, look, I don't want to go on too much. We've just hit some real highs there, mate. So basically, you have the ability to basically miss pretty much a whole season and still win it, is what we're saying. Yeah, I've kind of nearly done that this year in ETC because my first five races, I didn't finish because firstly I broke my wrist and then someone knocked me off and I broke my foot and then the same guy knocked me off again and then I finished one race and then in seventh and then I changed team and then I finished second from the back and then second again. So, and now I'm like eighth in the championship even though I didn't miss I missed like the first five races. Yeah, mate, I think it's phenomenal. I think it's absolutely outstanding. What is it that gives you that buzz for race? What do you love about the race? What what makes you want to keep doing and keep succeeding the way you are? The fact that your dad keeps threatening to kill your dog. <laughs> <laughs> Riding fast. <laughs> smoking grass. <laughs> what, what gives you that buzz, mate? What is it that you makes you keep going? <laughs> Full gas. <laughs> Talk about gas, man. <laughs> what is it that makes was you? That you? No, it was you. Wasn't it? it wasn't me. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that's all. There's no one to It's gonna run through you. It's, no it's made me fucking fart. Me heart. It's no wonder his slogan's full gas, is it? Right. Um, oh, that's why sorry. I said it. Nice. <laughs> so plug. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> that was all good. <laughs> <laughs> That's what made him high side last time. Fucking threw him off a bike. <laughs> so, um, Casey, yeah, what, what was it that makes you keep going? Uh, just like riding, I find it so fun and uh, easy to ride at 
like going uh, I find it easy to ride at a competitive level and when you're just like competitive getting results fighting for results is just so much more fun than like if if I was like pushing really hard and like still like 20th I would, I would, it would be a lot harder but the fact I can go at ease and be in like top 10 mostly everywhere I go is it is nice and it keeps motivating me to go to different championships do you know what you've done now though it's what nice, made your life difficult what is you've said the fact that I can go with ease into top 10s you know the amount of grief your dad's gonna give you on the way <laughs> Your, what do you mean you can go and eat? He's probably your pissed dog, off I didn't say top fucked. five. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so it, but I get what you're saying, right? So it's the fact that you can... Because no one wants to work hard for no results, do they? And the fact is, you've worked incredibly hard for a long time, as has your family, to get you where you are. And I think, like we have to say here, behind all, all these young lads like yourself that are doing incredibly well in sports, there is a family that's backing them and putting everything they can into it. And, and you know, John... I think it's a great opportunity to thank certain people, isn't it, for all of their hard effort? Wouldn't you say, Casey? Yeah, I couldn't do it without my family or all the people around me, friends, sponsor. Why are you sticking to the fitness? <laughs> <of me? laughs> Dad, <laughs> Casey's fuck like, you! You don't get a thank you then. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, Casey's like full on, like that Dad, was really nice. Heart thank you phone. so much, Dad's like that. Get your head down. <laughs> he just does it. He just does it. He makes you race because he just. Do like, you know what I love the most? What? Nan. Is it Shirley? Oh, no, 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 no Shirley. Man's a legend. <laughs> I get, once a week, I get like an, an influx of likes on everything. I even got sent some stars the other day. That's, <laughs> that's when they die. That's up. Nan. Nan it, gets Nan gets on Facebook for a day and that's it. She gets so, the one. The Nana, is it Nana no, Shirley? Yeah. Nana Shirley, if you're watching this, <laughs> big shout out. You are our most supportive follower on Facebook. Top fan badge. Top fan. <laughs> Only fans, so top, top bad legend bad. Nana Shirley is the only fan that we need. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> we love you, Nana Shirley. So anyway, well done, Shirley. Casey, your grandson's a hero. He is absolutely. <laughs> Look, I'll tell you now, Casey. I'll, I'll be honest. If I had the money now, if we were, we're, we're aiming to go big with this brand, and we'd love to. But right now, I'm skint, so right, so just don't get too excited. Um, if I had the money, we would. I'd take you on. I'd, I'd, I'd build a team straight away. I think I see so much potential in you. Uh, I was put on to you by a friend, Aaron, of mine, who said, look, this guy you need to check out. He's something special. The guys who are part of Busting Up get ex incredibly excited to watch you race. You're doing something right, mate, okay? So whatever you're doing, keep doing it. You're a humble lad. As you can see, like, you, you're having a laugh with us, but everything about you is professional. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, me you're messing this up. <laughs> That was a prof he was a, even a professional fart because he just didn't, didn't blame it on someone else. <laughs> just blame it on somebody else. <laughs> Fucking hell, Carl. You're stinking, bud. <laughs> but no, everything I'm Full seeing, gas. everything I'm seeing and everything, we, 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 we've seen you, right? Only today, you know, I watched an interview of you with someone who, who sort of approached you out of nowhere and trying to mug you off. Literally, so there, there, was an, there was an interview where someone just came at him, <laughs> came, came at him. That's and, a video, um, from what I saw, I'm not going to mention where it was or anything like that, but there was a lot of questions thrown at you that I think for a young lad who, was, who wasn't expecting them, I think they weren't very fair. I think they were, they were aimed at putting you on the back foot. Um, and to see you respond to them in a way that left the reporter stuttering and, and looking for words, I think is fantastic. And I think it's that, great to see someone... The Irish age, charm. The Irish charm. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> Casey, I can only apologise for Pat. He's a bit naughty sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> so my Irish accent is quite good. Though, no, but to be honest with you, I think everything you've done so far is very professional. You you conduct yourself professionally. I think for a young good lad, though, look at that brand. Look at that. He's, what done, I mean. he's done this before. Oh man. Um, so I think you're a credit to yourself, mate. I think you're really, really professional. You're doing phenomenally well in the sport. I think keep going. If I had the money to set up a team with you now and enter it into the GP, I'd take you in there and um get you to like mentor a good ride no I'm only joking I'm joking I'm joking I'd have you ride on my team if I had the money any day alright dude so I think at the moment I'll let you finish in a second okay. I wasn't going to say anything you look like you were like that with the mic thanks, thanks girl <laughs> um, so, so we 100% you know if I had the money I'd have you on board and I'm sure there's a lot of people that are going to feel the same as they watch you continue to succeed in your career um, is there anything or anyone you'd like to say thanks to or are there any sponsors that have sort of been with you from the start that dad's going to give you a nudge on to, to mention 
I want to thank my mum, my dad, my family. <laughs> Busting up. Uh, Double D, FWR. Danik? Danik. Mm. Who else have you got? Who does your helmets? Alpine Star Shark. This is some fantastic endorsement, Casey. I'll tell you what. You are all Carl, over the endorsements. Carl gets his helmet done at the gum clinic. Yeah. The, the main thing is, have we covered everything there, Dad? Do you think? Good lad, mate. And, and do you know what? I'm sure, smash can we cut, cut the stars out? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah that's no, Ewan's favourite job, that do you know, is. Do you know the, main, the, the, the best thing is? That it's the authentic. One that, the one he smashed. Busting up. Big shout out at the start. Yeah. That's what we love to see. Um, Casey, mate, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you here. Thanks. Is there anything that you think we'd like to discuss more or no? Daz, are you happy? Happy as a pig in shit. Is it his turn now? Yes. Quick, turn the cameras on to Dad. No, no. <laughs> He's going red. <laughs> He's sniffing his armpits. Um, Don't sniff mine. I'm humming. <laughs> Casey, it's been fantastic to have you all, mate. Thank you very much. Is there anything you'd like to ask us? What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> yeah. Why do you still use Facebook, you old kids? <laughs> How old are you really? <laughs> you still use Facebook? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> dick. Is there anything you'd like to know about us or are you happy, mate? Are you happy to call it a day there and go and have like, I don't know, what do you have, like a wham bar or something? Dad, Dad. I'm going to ask you when you can take me out in this. You want to go on a date? No. <laughs> you, Casey, you're 16. I want to go on this. No, so Casey's looking at the MX6 here. Um, I'll or, tell you what or, or go on the Grom over there you can go on the Grom whenever you like you can rag that around the little unit it's for sale actually just for £2,600 yeah. dad you've got to buy the Grom that'll fit in your van lovely um, <laughs> he's got that um, I'm a brand he's ambassador. gone he's fucking off <laughs> <laughs> he's um, got to get the credit card how old are you now can you do finance at 16 no nah, but dad can do know. yeah sound and then um, or I'll tell you what blood. Casey next time you come down we'll take you for a spin in this is that fair deal and we'll you should, be, you should oh, would be you very be happy? privileged about that. He doesn't drive out on the road. He's scared. Yeah, I don't. That's actually true. Well, that's uh, a show car. You all right? Yeah. <laughs> he looks lost. He looks lost. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good place to end. So, so anyway, Casey, thank you very much for your time, mate. You've been an absolute legend. Thanks. You're welcome back. Any, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> go on, bugger off. He <laughs> even does that quickly. Go on, Casey. Well done, mate. You're a good Oh, lad. now thank he puts it on. Much. Oh, bring your oh, neck, oh, did you? Oh, I've got a bad leg. Right, guys. Thank you very much for tuning into the podcast. The media team look pissed off as hell. See you in two weeks, motherfluggers. My watch didn't tell at the right time. That's um, just fake. <laughs> so, guys, don't forget. Like, subscribe, follow everything we do. Busting up, Stone Ash Street, Plymouth. Follow Casey. Follow Casey. Casey, what are your channels? COG Racing. Cog yeah, Cog Racing. Don't follow Guys, him literally. Oh yeah, actually, He's shut young. up. This is a real, real with the fans time. Right. Time to get real with the fans. Guys, like, subscribe, and follow everything we do. Then go and check out Casey, our brand ambassador here. You've been a great, great lad, Casey. Been an absolute pleasure to have you on. I'm very sorry at how unprofessional we are. You've managed to hold it together well, apart from one little fart. Um, other than that, <laughs> <laughs> it was. Well, I'm assuming we, no, I don't in case any girls watching, I don't it wasn't get, Casey. I don't want to get stabbed. <laughs> John, all right, bud. thank you very much, guys. Casey, phenomenal. Like, watch this. Watch this space with Casey. He's going places. Cog racing. Find him everywhere. He's even on TikTok. He's even on Facebook. He's quite good on TikTok, apparently. Whatever that means. Not as good as Carl, because Carl paid for nine thousand followers from China. <laughs> Yeah, have you got that? Just put it on. Put it on camera one. Camera <laughs> one. <laughs> I don't know which one's camera one. Oh, we'll get it on, Casey. Yeah, we'll get it on. So, K Casey, where's his mic? It's gone. Oh, Connor's get, got it. Casey, take that mic and just tell us what we're gonna, you're going to show us now, and then Jack's going to put it on. It's me thinking Red Bull gives me wings. <laughs> <laughs> Legend. Broken, broken pelvis is no <laughs> <laughs> legend guys thank you very much thanks guys we'll see you on the next podcast it's been sick Casey Bye, thank you Bye, Felicia. Oh, awesome what up Casey <laughs>